Hi. Judge, what are you doing from your position of power to make sure that the number of victimless criminals sentenced is going down? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. One question I do have for you just as a rep, uh, I understand that Representative Aldrich was stopped from allegedly filming in the State House. I don't know who he is. Were you there that day? I don't know who he is. Okay. Do you know anything about a restriction on filming in the State House? Um, I mean, in the, in the chamber. There is a res restriction against videotaping, members videotaping in the State House. I think press can do that, but... I'm not sure of the rules, so I'm really giving you probably bad advice. Okay, no, that's okay. I don't expect yeah. anyone to know everything. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, thanks. No, sorry. All right. Are you on the Justice Commission? Yes. Are you on the Justice Commission? And why aren't you answering my questions? Are you, are you on the commission, it's, are the uh, council itself? Pardon? Are you on the council yeah. itself? Question for you. Uh, Citizens for Criminal Justice Reform has been pushing to make sure that there's always one member of this council who's been in prison. Do you know where that stands? We're yes. 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 Is we Is this just an echo chamber of corporates and officials? Well, essentially what they're looking at is, uh, is going to deal with bail reform today. We're looking at individual uh, have problems, if you will. But I have changed my mind on that having a prisoner available, either on the commission or on call or something like that. <laughs> we went over to Stratford County uh, Jail as a committee. No, not as a committee, we went over there for them. And then we did gardening. We talked with them about the opioid uh, program that they have. And it seems to be working pretty well, so I want to see if there's a way that we can incorporate this in uh, other jails. In, in how would incorporating that program get you a, a more a wider cross-section on this council? Well, on this council, I don't think it would, uh, it would work. We'd have to go to the Association of Counties and uh, uh, voice it there. Okay. Now, what, what is the, how does the public have a voice in relation to this council? Is it, are we allowed to speak, in, speak to the council or...? Yeah, you can come in. It's a, it's a public meeting. So that there's public comment? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Miss. Is it Welsh or Welch? Welch. Okay, Mr. Welch, I appreciate your time, as always. <laughs> Are you on the Justice Council? I am. Uh, I've got a question for you. What exactly is the composition of the council? Does it include any normal people? Or is it all corporates and CEOs and politicians and bureaucrats? Talk to the chair about that. Well, you've you been in there. Have you ever talked to anyone there who's a normal person and is on the council? I'm sure the chair would be happy to speak with you. I wouldn't count on it. All right. Yeah. Ms. Pantalakos, what are you doing from your position of power here? I don't have any power, just a rep. What are you doing from your position of power as a rep to reduce the number of victimless criminals who are put in jail? Hi. Judge, what are you doing from your position of power to make sure that the number of victimless criminals sentenced is going down, or at least convicted? Are you on the council? Yes. Question for you. No. What are you doing from your position of power to reduce the number of victimless criminals sentenced to jail? And why aren't you answering questions when one of the mandates of this council is to provide information to the public?
Senator Lasky? Yes. Are you on the Justice Council? Yes. Oh, I've got a question for you. Sure. Uh, the, the makeup of the council, uh, who here, it's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Okay. Who here represents the prisoners? Uh, the criminal justice system is represented, uh, the commissioner. Um, the prisoners themselves, who here represents them? I don't know, but there's uh, people that come in, uh, what's his name, um, Chris Dornan. He's consistently in on behalf of the prison. He's, he's been in prison? No, he hasn't been in prison. I, not that I know it, but he's been in on their behalf for many things. Okay, who here who's been, who, who, okay, well, you don't have to know everything, but uh, is this open for public comment? Can a yeah. prisoner come in and speak to it if he wants? Yeah, I believe it's okay. open. It's I should right say, know. okay. All right, thanks much, Senator. Sure. All right. I've got a question for you. <laughs> 2,000 Liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. But there's a saying, my saying, actually, united we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com